love the fact that people walk past it. Um, I've had lots of lovely comments from people who have uh, noticed and liked or wondered about it. And uh, that's the greatest compliment anyone can give you, I think, is that especially that they would wonder. I think, you know, because that's a great word and we don't maybe wonder enough. You know, well, it is a kind of dream, actually. It's inspired by a poem by Kathleen Jamie called The Bower. Um, and it's, a, it's quite a short poem. It's a beautifully formed thing. And I think of it as a thing. Um, and so I felt from the first time I read it, I knew I had to make some kind of response to it. But sometimes it can take me quite a while to know what. She talks about it listing deep. And, and that, to me, I mean, that just makes me feel at home when I hear that phrase. I like to use text as a material as well, but um, I'm using less of it and I'm using it in a more considered way in, in more recent work. And so the text just says, and listing deep, but it's, it's almost something that you could miss when you first look at the painting and, and, or the piece, and, that, and, and that's intentional. Um, it's not that it's an afterthought, it's that it's not meant to be shouting at you. It's like being whispered, almost. So it is painted, but it's layered up with other things. And so it's layered up with fragments of leaves and um, who knows what else. <laughs> Gauze, tissue paper, um, fragile things, actually. But to me, they're very powerful things. So I've got lichen and poppy petals and leaves and um, all kinds of things. And so um, they're waiting to be used. And I know exactly when the time is right, so, but I have to get them all out and have a look at them all. <laughs> and there's a palette and a texture that I'm looking for. And um, I sometimes get very inspired too by the, um, the impression that they've made in the book. And, um, and that can be, sometimes, sometimes I'll tear that page out and use the whole thing because the impression is as nice. It can take a long time. There's a kind of um, seeking and finding process. So they are the inspiration, actually, the natural forms. And, and that's where I connect a lot. And I think it's why I connect so much with Kathleen Jamie's poems, because really they're centred in the natural world and uh, our relationship with it. And um, so she paints with the words and, and I, in a way, paint with the nat with natural forms that I've gathered but I create a context for them. I love being exhibited at Stirling. It's great. It's it's a really good honor and uh, to be amongst all these, you know, sort of well, artists whose work I, uh, I had known about. They're part of the canon if you like. And so um it's really good and that doesn't happen actually all that often. I think because it's a place of, of work as well and there are people going by probably past it lots of times in a day that they will um, see it over time. My work isn't created with this intention but everybody says that it reveals itself um, in new ways the more they look at it. The way that I use materials and the way that I do layer them up. I suppose the act of doing that creates things that even surprise me and, and they, to they are absolutely not intentional. In the same way that uh, a poet um, perhaps knows that uh, another person's reading of their work is going to reveal things that they hadn't thought of, then this happens to me as well when people view my artworks, be they the paintings or the, the collages or the poem houses, because, um, yes, you create something that's more than yourself, um, and more than you can even know, um, and that's... That's an amazing thing to get to do.